Mm-hmm. All right, so today we're going to talk about the Residence R36MPT. The R36MPT is a uh, clinical multi frequency tympanometer uh, milliliter analyzer. And what you get when you purchase one is you get the manual, the software, you get the all your certificates will be on a, a gig thumb drive. You get your multi frequency pump uh, probe, I mean, and you'll get the little handle so it's easier to use. You get a calibration cavity, you get a box of the silicone tips. Uh, and then you get two probe cleaners. You will also get a fuse that goes into the back. You get DD45 Contra for Contra. Or you can opt to get IP30 insert. It is a little bit more, but you can get that. Or you can use the your uh, insert for uh, uh, Contra as well. So what we're going to do is going to just jump right into it. I've already attached the probe. I've already attached the uh, a tip. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. When you first turn it on, this is what you'll hear. You'll see it loading up. And what will happen is uh, you, then you'll get your uh, screen, your test screen. This tells you all the test selections. Down here below, it tells you your firmware, your software, when your calibration is date it was and when your next calibration date is when you first buy one they will always come calibrated so they'll always have one year from the time that was sent to you to be calibrated so on this one because it's a multi-frequency and it's a clinical you have your tympanometry high frequency you have your regular tympanometry which is your uh, 226 you have reflex dk arlt your etf intact your etf perforation your quick check, your quick screening, your quick decay, your non-acoustic, and your growth DLI. Now, depending on what test you want to start out with and what test you currently always use, uh, you can always highlight the test and click set test, then click your F2 for confirm. And so when you first turn it off and then you turn it a bit on, it'll be highlighted so it's ready to go. You just All you have to do then is hit enter. So by using these uh, left and right arrow on the four-way keypad, you can manipulate where you need to highlight. Uh, and then you can go there. Uh, me, I personally, I do quick checks because it does. I can do a temp and a reflex at, all at one time, all in that same setting real quickly. Has paper advance right there because you get a roll of paper, thermal paper. paper. This is what the printout would look like if you did a, a printout right there and then. It's usually loaded. Uh, if you have a problem, I, uh, we can help you load it in. So we'll go ahead and just take a quick look at this and we'll go into the tympanometry aspect. Here you'll see it has your pump speed. You can set it for auto, 300, 200, 150, or auto. You can have your stop DPA and your start DPA. Uh, I usually set mine at the max just when I'm setting up a demo. So, and then I'll put it at 600. Just a second. No. So, I'm handling test then. I'm going to set my parameters so that way it saves all my settings. Now, to get into children's mode if you're doing dealing with children. <coughs> You, when you're in here, you just go to handling tests, children, and it turns on the children's test. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my right side real quickly by, I'll use this one to click the blue. You'll see the light is on blue. This indicates what side you're uh, testing. If you see it's blue, then it's red, then it's blue. I'll just switch it back. I'll go ahead and put it in my ear. If you just watch the screen, you'll see what happens. And when you're done, there you go. It'll automatically turn back to the regular screen, allowing you to look at the test. So, and then we'll just go back out of it. You can, like I said, you can, at this time you can erase the curve, you can erase the whole, all the tests. 
and or you can set the parameters. Uh, let's go back out, and we have switch. Uh, when you switch sides, like I said again, uh, by hitting the the button that says hide right there, it will change the color depending on where, what side you're on. If you see it corresponds with the, the right. So we'll get out of this test now. Let's go over to the quick check test. That's one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. Uh, as you can see, it's red. It's on the right side. When you're doing that test, you can hit the, uh, the parameters. Let's go back. You can hit handling test on F6, you go to parameters. You can set your, which side you wanted to test. You can set your on time, your on off ratio, your scale where you want the, the pump to start, where you want it to end. You can turn the frequencies on. You can set the, the max level of where you want them at. So and to do that, all you have to do is use the arrow keys again to scroll. So you highlight the one you want to de deal with. So if you want to change, say you want to add uh, 2000, you just click that and you highlight 2000 and then you scroll down to the next one. Now, be aware again, when you change one on the right left side or the right side, it'll change the other side to match up. So, what we'll do is we'll change that decibel as well. As well. You'll see we made a, a change in it. Then, if you wanna keep those, you can hit set parameters again, which is your F5, and then you press F2 to confirm. So that way, it's always gonna be there. So let's go ahead and do a, we'll do a left side because it's in my left hand. You'll see it's blue and it's blue here. Do a quick test. So you can see, as you see, we ran, uh, we did reflex and we did temp. Now, if you want to see your reflex test results, you can click here and you'll see them right here. Look at the blue dot. If you see the, wherever the blue dot is, you can move it to whichever frequency you want to look at and you can scale. So right now we'll just go to the middle one. We'll use the scale button. And if you look at these numbers right here, they'll change because you're scaling them. So you can get a better uh, look. So we'll just go back to temp again. Now, if you want, to, if you're doing children as well, you just hit the children's. Do one more test real quick. And see, you did your children's test, and then there's your uh, reflexes again. Uh, obviously, you'll set the parameters for children differently than you would adults. So, to get back out of that, now you'll see that you have done, you've done the test there, you've done the test there. Now you'll have the option of connecting it through the back to a, 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 a cord that you'll have you'll have to get to upload it into MDS software. So basically, this is these are the tests that you can go through and use. You have all these tests, different tests. And if you want to go to the setup page, you can set up your parameters. This is your compliance calibration that you would do every day. All you do is highlight your count, take the probe off. I have two of the yellow ones stuck in there. So we'll just take one out real quick. roll it out so it doesn't bend it or anything. So basically highlight the calibration cavity, then you're gonna press enter, and then it's gonna tell you where to put the calibration, and you can put it in automatic mode. So right now it tells me to put it in the first one, which is the 0.5, and then I'll go ahead and do that. And then when it, when it's, it meets the criteria, it'll say press the confirm key and then it'll switch you over to the 
next one, which is the five, you'll see it again. It says press the confirm key because it's from, it's calibrated to that cavity. And then it'll ask you to go to the two. You just press the confirm key. You've calibrated it at 226. If you need to calibrate any other frequencies, you just change them based on that. And you just follow the procedure again. So basically you have, uh, this is also right here is the reflex calibration, the, the ARLT calibration, and your pressure calibration. The only time you'll be in, ever in that is when you're servicing it or you're doing your yearly calibration by your technician. Uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, just let us know. We'll be glad to assist you. Um, we thank you for your time. Have a good day.